Hey guys, how's it going? Hopefully you're all having a wicked day out there. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about learning the fingerboard because it is one of the most important things we can do. Being able to navigate around, you know, this, this uh, mystery, as sometimes it might feel it's a mystery. It's actually not a mystery and hopefully today I'm going to give you a, a formula that will really help you learn your scales. My question to you actually is, do, do you have certain systems that you already use on the fingerboard when you're playing or are you kind of flying blind? If you let me know in the comments what are your favorite systems to use, um, scales, arpeggios, chord tones, fingering, stuff like that, let us know in the comments. Now the first time I realized that I really needed to have systems to help me map out the fingerboard. It was when I was studying with Gary Willis, So you may or may not know, he's like a legendary uh, super duper bass player. And I went to study with him over in Barcelona and he was really the first guy that showed me some really solid systems of how to understand the fingerboard and map it out. And I actually have put a full hour long hour-long uh, masterclass together that you can check out if you want to and it's called the top five things I learned from studying with Gary Willis if you want to check it out it's completely for free just put click the link just do the thing just click the link and it'll take you through to a page so you can sign up for that masterclass and get it totally free okay now let's look at this three-step scale formula so you can get into this okay number one number two and number three and number one two and three are really the ways that you can play a scale okay there's three different ways you can play a scale you can play it vertically horizontally or backwards okay let me break that down for you okay so this is vertically or you know right up and down like we normally you know the first time you go to a teacher they're like here's a major scale they teach you how to do that vertically right then you can play horizontally up the instrument which would look like this okay you're playing horizontally and then the fourth one is playing backwards again it could do it here That's a little trickier. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in a minute, okay? But let's work through these. And number one here, the vertical, is one of the most important ones, okay? I'm going to show you a system just to help you with this. Horizontal, um, I mean vertical, then horizontal, and then backwards. And the backwards one, we'll get to that. It's a really, really fun one and it'll really help you start seeing all of your patterns mixed up, okay? So let, just hang out for this one, it's gonna be good. Now vertical, I don't want you to just take a scale and learn it in one place like this. This is like the first way that we learn to play a major scale. And let's, just, let's, let's think about everything in the key of G major today, okay? So that is a G major scale in this position. But just knowing this that pattern doesn't mean that we actually know it all over the instrument. So when we're looking at learning our G major scale in this case, vertically, okay, the first thing we need to do is find all of the notes of the scale on the E string. Okay, so G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, and G. It does go up, but let's just go from there, that G down to this G, okay? So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. Now I want you to put your first finger on the first note, okay, of the G, right? And I want you to play a three note scale, the G major scale, from this note. It's gonna sound like this. Right, now you move to the next note in the scale, in the G major scale, and we figured that out because we now know all of our notes on our E string. It's the A, we play the G major scale from the A. Then to the B, same thing, G major scale, but going from the B. Then from the C. D. Now you might be thinking, ah, that's the modes, Scott. That's the modes. 
yes and no. Yes, you could be like, yes, this is G major, and this is A Dorian, and this is B Phrygian, and this is C Lydian, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not thinking about it like that though, okay? I'm just focusing on, this is how to play my G major scale all over the fingerboard, okay? So yes, you can think about it as the modes if you want to, but right now we're just, we're asking ourselves a question, do we know our G major all over the fingerboard, yes or no? If the answer is yes, then you will be able to do this. And then we're at the D, and we did the D, didn't we? Then the E, so this is a G major scale, but starting on the E. And then the F sharp. And then the G. And then obviously we're back at the you know, we're back where we started, down here, okay? So that's the vertical system. The horizontal system, there's two different ways of doing this, okay? First of all, we're gonna play four notes a string. So on the vertical versions, we were playing three notes a string. On the horizontal, we're playing four notes a string. And I want you to think about it in two different ways. Every time you, you use your index finger, this is the first version, every time you use your index finger, I want you to slide, okay? So we start on the G. It's our index finger, so we're going to slide up to the next nearest note in the G major scale. Four notes of string, remember. One, two, three, four. One, index finger, slide. Two, three, four, index finger, slide. So that's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. End on the nine to doing that, which is beautiful, right? So that was just sliding up with the index finger, four notes of string. Oh. And you can do it backwards, sliding with the index finger if you want. Okay, that's the first version of the horizontal system. The second system is using the same kind of methodology of four notes per string, but you slide with your pinky, okay? So one, two, three, slide, one, two, three, slide, one, two, three, slide, one, two, three, slide. And we end on that ninth again, okay? So that's the two different versions of the horizontal. Now, how to play the scale backwards, and this is where you really, it's going to get that brain squeaking a bit, right? Or oh, it does mine, essentially. <laughs> right, so we don't start down here, we start up here at the octave, right? So... And we've done three notes per string, four notes per string, two notes per string. So when you play the G major, two notes per string, you're automatically going to start playing it backwards. Check this out. And by backwards, I don't mean this. I mean backwards across the fingerboard, okay? So G, A, B, C, D, E, F sharp, G. See what I did there? Two notes a string. Then we go down to the F sharp, okay? We're doing exactly the same as we did with the verticals, moving up the, the major scale, but we're going down them backwards, okay? So start on the G, then the F sharp, two notes of string, then the E. Remember, this is just the G major scale, right? Then the D. The D or the C now? Check that out there. It's really weird to do that. So C, D, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C. You know, and you can descend as well, right? So then there's the B. Okay, so the B is. Then the A. So first of all, ask yourself whether you know whatever major scale it is, a C major, then map out all of the notes on the fingerboard, O on the E string, then get your verticals down, three notes a string, horizontals, four notes a string, sliding with either your index and your pinky, and then playing it backwards, two notes a string. If you can do that with every scale, especially the major scales, because they're the most important scales, because all of the other scales are derived from them. If you can do that, you are going to be golden. Now, I did mention at the top of this class that I've put a full hour-long workshop together teaching you the five best things that I learned when studying with 
Gary Willis, one of the best bass educators and players of all time. What I learned from him when I was studying with him over in Barcelona. If you want to take that hour long class, I've put a link in the description. Just hit the description. You can sign up for it. And we're also going to be releasing a full on blazing course from Gary Willis very soon. So keep a lookout for that one. Other than that, guys, as always, take it easy. I'll see you in the shed.